Percy, you're awesome. <laughs> He's like, I'll find a way. Or she. He. Is he? Yeah. Okay. Hey, what's up everybody? All right, so this is the Traxxas um, TRX-4 remote control rock crawling truck. And I've done a lot of upgrades to this, so I wanted to, I wanted to explain what I've done so far just to improve the performance. Um, it comes, like right out of the package, it's, it works fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But there are just a few things that you can do to make the performance better. And so the first thing that I actually did was I, 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 I damaged the truck, I damaged the steering um, control arm on it because it's made of plastic. And so what I did was I replaced it with a metal one and that helps to uh, have it to where you're not gonna strip out the gear on the little um, control arm here. And so the control arm is the silver one that you see there, right there, the silver one underneath that, underneath this, the silver one that connects to the steering, bo steering box. So I replaced that, also replaced the steering box. And this is a, a steering server <clears throat> that can handle a lot more weight and a lot more torque on it. And so I think it's I think it's like six times as strong as the steering server that comes uh, stock in the Traxxas. And those two upgrades, I think the steering server was 60 bucks and the uh, control arm upgrade, just the, the metal one, switching that from plastic to metal was like $7. So that was pretty cheap. Um, the next upgrade that I did was I, I put these tires on here and these wheels. Now these are our method wheels and, uh, let's see, there we go. Method wheels and um, they're actually to scale. So these little these little uh, locking uh, hubs here, these are actually wheel locks. So it's a bead lock, it's similar to what you'd have like on a Jeep. And so what that does is to where these tires won't won't uh, skip at all or slide on the wheel frame. And so these wheel frames are great. And, and putting these on there, it's like really detailed. You know, you've, you've got your little your little uh, uh, Allen wrench, so your little hex key that you're using to put these on there. And it's a, it's a ton of fun to work on it. It's kind of like working on it for scale. And, and what I like is that on the back of my truck where I have the tailgate, you know, the, the, uh, the swing out bumper with that drop down table, it's perfect for working on this. So I'll get to camp and I'll get all set up and then I put on my, my nerd hat and then I, I start working on this thing. And I'll work on it for hours, it's just a blast. So, um, okay, moving along, the next upgrade that I did, oh, another thing too is I got, I got new hubs in here. So you see these hubs, the, the metal hubs? And um, so that, that, what that does is that creates a lot of weight on the lower portion of your RC truck and that helps it crawl up things and keep that low center of gravity. Uh, also too, the tires, it's huge performance difference. I mean, as far as um, all of the upgrades on here, I'd have to say number one would be the brushless motor, which we'll get into here in just a second. But the tires themselves are really nice because they grip uh, much better than, the, than the, the tires that come on it. The tires that come on it are fine, but it's just this upgrade is real nice. I want to give a shout out to Skillshare, today's sponsor for this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. 
Now, I, I've been using Skillshare now for, gosh, it's almost almost been a year. And the reason why I started using it is because I need help with video editing. And so all the classes that I've been taking up to this point have really helped out with making my video from this level and hopefully bringing it up to here. Now, what I'm finding is, is that my photography skills in this new environment, in this Red Rock area that I am in Arizona, um, it's just not sufficient. I'm not able to reproduce what I'm seeing. And so I need help with photography. And the class that I'm currently diving into is Outdoor Photography, Shooting at Sunset, Sunrise, and at Night by Chris Burkard. I hope I said his name right. <laughs> Staff photographer for Surfer Magazine. One of the first lessons I watched was Chris was shooting in Joshua Tree. And I thought, that's perfect because the terrain that I'm shooting right now is looking similar to that. And I have no idea how to replicate what I'm seeing because what I'll see is I'll see some awesome stuff and then when I shoot it and put it, import it into editing, it doesn't look the same. So Chris is really helping me identify the best times of day, either it's morning, you know, afternoon, evening to shoot, and then also the editing tips affiliated with that to make the pictures really pop. The first thousand people to use my link in the video description below get a free trial to the premium Skillshare membership, and then after that it's only about 10 bucks a month. So thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now back to some RC trucks. And uh, these are Proline, they're called Hyrax tires. And so I'll, I'll put links of all this stuff in the video description below so that way you can, that way you can look it up yourself. But uh, these tires are a huge performance and they, they grip extremely well. I'll get on to some areas. I'm gonna get a little bit of a cactus deal there. Um, I'll get on some, some uh, rock crawling areas to where I, I wouldn't be able to get traction with my, with my stock tires. And then I'll put these on there and uh, it goes up pretty fast, which is nice. Um, another upgrade that I have, which I've not installed yet, is a new drivetrain right here, or no, drive shaft. And uh, the one that I have, this one's plastic. Well, it's kind of metalish plastic, and it's okay. But the one that I have, the new one, is, is metal. And so I need to install that, and that'll help put more weight on the bottom as well. Now, the biggest upgrade that I did, and the upgrade that I think is definitely, definitely the be best performance, is the, the brushless motor. And so the brushless motor, that's this right here, it's a little bit of an effort to install. You kind of, you can take everything out and you know, you're, you're dealing with a lot of wires and stuff like that. When I installed this, I didn't realize that it kind of um, resets all of the settings for like your controller. Where's my controller at? No, oh, it's over here. What happened was is that when I would, hang on a second. When I, uh, when I put that in there, um, the controller, all the, all the controls on it for like the lockers, for the front locker and the rear locker to make it to where the tires all turn at the same time, um, it, it wasn't working right. And so I went over to Valley Hobby, and I, I can't say enough about those guys over at Valley Hobby. They're awesome. So huge thanks to Andrew, and then also your colleague. I, I haven't caught his name yet. I need to ask him his name next time I come in there. But you guys really helped me out with this. And it was funny, I went in there, I'm like, I think it's the battery. Because like when you plug in the, these, these batteries into the the truck, the, the RC truck here, sometimes it'll spark a little bit. And so I didn't realize that was just par for the course. That just happens all the time. And I was like, I think it's shorting it out. And they're like, it's not, it's not shorted out, Brent. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, me self-diagnosing it and not, not knowing what I'm talking about. But, um, but overall, once we got the, the remote control reprogrammed, you just do a, a factory reset on it and it was fine. And it's amazing the control that I have with this new motor on here. Um, there's an app that you can use on your phone to control like 10 different different speeds or, or functions of the motor itself. And so I really need to dive into it. I haven't yet. But um, one thing that I did do was that there is a way that when you are uh, rock crawling, you know, if you're coming down something really steep, you don't want to have it to where when you let off the controller that this still keeps rolling. And so you can set the motor to where it will stop as soon as you let off the controller and just have it to the, just the, the stationary position. This will literally come to a halt immediately. And so you can set that to where the, you know, the drag on it when you um, slow down is, is varied. Uh, the one thing that's super nice about it is you can crawl really slow. So when you're, uh, let me turn this on here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So with the controller here, um, if you barely, barely, barely engage this, like barely, it'll, it'll start to, to go. Whereas the other motor that I had on the first one, I mean, that, that, that's just barely touching it. But the, the other motor that I had, the first one that was on there, you actually, it kind of lurches a little bit when it starts because, you know, the, 
once it engages, the engine goes, oh, we need to get going. So it's not nearly as smooth as this one. Another thing with this one that I like is you can leave it on that, that low crawl mode, and it doesn't matter how steep it gets or how hard it gets, it will, it will maintain that, that low level of speed. So there's no variation when you're going up and down. So I really like that. Um, one of the things that I, I can't seem to get working on here, though, is I did get some lights, and these lights are all around here, and they come around the underside to where when you're rock crawling at night, you can have lights that come down and they show showing the rocks so when you're going along, you know, you can see where you're going. And for some reason, I just, the, the, the I've installed two of them and they both short out. So I, I don't know what's up with that. But also too, you gotta think it's like, it's like microelectronics. And so, you know, there's there's little, um, <laughs> here's what we were getting into the, the room service this morning. <laughs> um, the, but these micro wires, I mean, they're super small, you know, and they're, and they're, and they're, they're easy to break. And so I'm sure I probably just maybe, you know, damaged something just, just a little bit on there to where those lights don't work. But that's that's not a big deal because once evening time rolls around, I'm, I'm usually, you know, crashing out. But uh, I'm really excited for this. At my new place that I'm, I'm getting, um, the, the ranch, there's a huge rock garden on the western side of the property, the whole western slope of it. And it extends for about 100, 150 yards. And I want to turn part of it into an actual rock crawling um, trail for our full-size vehicles, but then the rest of it for this. And so I'm excited. It's a fun, fun hobby to have around camp. And so I, I recommend anybody that, that spends a lot of time out on the road, you know, get one of these when you're putzing around camp and just kind of bored and, and looking for something to do. It sure is fun to grab this and go all over the rocks and just, just kind of have fun with it. So um, I'll put all the links in the video description below. If you got any questions, hit me up. I think right now Traxxas is selling this as the Bronco, as the um, the, the vintage Bronco, and not the not the K5 Blazer. They kind of go back and forth on the different um, the different. Uh, let me look at that. It's like a little nail that we would get there. I can't see that. Um, but they go back and forth on different body designs. So there's like there's this, you know, the K5 Blazer with my <laughs> my custom GoPro mount, and then um, the the Bronco, and then I think there's a Defender and um, a few other ones. And then, uh, just a heads up, the TRX4 has high gears and low gears, and so if you wanted just a rock crawler, you don't have to spend you know, the 500 bucks to get this. Um, you, you, you could get just a straight up rock crawler that doesn't have the high gear, and it's about half price. So, you know, that's something to think about. Another thing too, with all the upgrades that I've done, I've invested about $1,000 total in this. So that's 500 to purchase it, and then, uh, you know the the, the uh, motor and then all the different upgrades and all that stuff. It, it's came to, coming by additional 500. So all in for a thousand bucks. Incredible rock crawler. Just has fun for days. I've got two different batteries that I use. These these lipo batteries. So two different batteries and uh, it works great. And I just I, I can't say enough about how much fun these things are. They're just a they're just a blast to to uh, to, to use. And it's like it's definitely a hobby. Definitely a toy. It's kind of you know kind of a niche thing but it's, it's a ton of fun. So check it out. Links in the video description below. Thanks for watching.